Hi, I'm Ryan Jessen, and I've uh, been going to The Way uh, for one year now, and this is my testimony. I grew up and born into a Mormon family in Utah, and I made the decision, despite my entire family being Mormon, to actually leave Mormonism and to separate from my friends, my social circles, um, and, and to separate from that. I went from Mormonism, I went to atheism, I was Buddhist for years, I actually studied Islam and was present for prayers and, and began to read the Quran and, and in college and to just go on this search and this journey for greater purpose. Through the search I fell into lust, and drugs, alcohol, um, anger and contention, witchcraft. I was searching anywhere I could for actual inner peace and significance that would bring me what I was searching for. And no matter how much status I had, how much money I gained, no matter where I lived and moved all over the, over the country, there was never a moment in which my soul was actually at rest. And the fight continued to go search for more, to do more, to prove myself more, to continue to strive to achieve what I thought was important to me. And in my point of just absolute confusion, I remember God sending my wife. And through her coming into my life, I was atheist when I met my wife, who was the daughter and is the daughter of two pastors from Texas. And me being atheist and her being an absolute believer put us at a real interesting spot where she had to really ask herself, did God speak to her concerning me? And it took her just living her example, living her life that just pulled me into a, a moment, sitting in my car at a red light, staring at an A-frame for a church at the longest red light I've ever been at in my life. And I sent her a text and I said, let's go to church tonight. And she said in the text, she's getting changed. I went to church. I didn't know why people were shouting and screaming and raising their hands. I didn't understand it. But I sat in that building and God began to do a work through the work of what God has done and what he has done in my life was a shedding of everything that I thought was important or thought was meaningful to me and my, and my journey. And the entering the way was a moment of me saying, I've reached the end of me. I've reached the end of searching through everything from all of the drugs and the alcohol, from women and lust, from actual selfishness and greed, from witchcraft, from trying to attain financial, financial gain that'll somehow equal freedom for me. In a one year time, I'm actually completely turned and free from anything that's ever bound me because I sacrificed and turned it over to the Lord. There was a message from Pastor Marco that said, put God on the throne and put him first and watch your life transform. I walked up to the altar and I said, God, you're first. I said, I'm done living for myself and I'm done putting myself on the throne. And so you take over. Him taking over, it's allowed me a space of serving in the prison ministry and going to Pelican Bay, the supermax prison of California, and being able to actually go preach the gospel in the shoe. It's led me opportunities to be able to work with Get Connected Ministry and bring more people in to be able to serve in ministries, to serve on the altar and to pray for individuals possibly going through the same thing that I've gone through. It's brought me an opportunity to honestly have this experience in which I'm able to give my money to the Lord, I'm able to give my time to the Lord, and in this year, He's transformed my life to inner peace.